Hello, good morning, this is Rob Koster for Card Game Expert and today I'm going to be talking about the history of Infect in Modern. Uh, yeah, Infect is a deck that wants to use the Infect mechanic, hence the name, to deal 10 poison counters to the opponent and yeah, then they lose the game. So that's what they're trying to do and I decided to look at the history of the deck because, well, the deck has literally been around since the first Modern Pro Tour. And it got a ton of cards banned and it played a ton of banned cards. So I want to start off today with this list. This is the first Infect list that I could find. This is Samuel Black, better known as Sam Black, better known as the only person who ever won a car in a Magic tournament. And yeah, this is uh, what Infect used to look like back in the day for exactly a day. And yeah, let's get into it. We have four Blighted Agent and if you're like, well, that's a nice creature. It, it's, it's a one, 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 four, two. It has in fact I can be blocked. We'll, we'll see this card a ton. This is just one of the staple in fact creatures. And then we get to Yeah, the rest of this deck. We have four peer through depth. Because reasons. Uh yeah, four peer through depth. Just the best card selection back then. Uh we have summoner specs to find a progenitus. <laughs> yeah, this is one hell of a list. We have a Pact of Negation because free counter spells are that good. Talking about free spells, this deck plays a few of them. So we have a Cataxium Probe in here. We have a Snapback in here. We have a Disrupting Shoal and Blazing Shoal. And so that's the Progenitus. Okay, so when you're looking at this deck, you're like 19 lands. We're not really casting that Progenitus, are we? No, we aren't. We have no intention of casting it at all, ever. What we do want to do is pitch it to Blazing Shore. You may exile a red card with Converted Mana Cost X from your hand rather than pay this spell's mana cost. And you're like, wait, isn't this spell banned right now? Yeah, it is. That's because of this deck. Because when you pitch Blazing Shore, uh, when you use Blazing Shore to pitch a Progenitor or a Dragon Storm, because who would use this card fairly? That's totally not a standard deck that played this as well. We'll get to that in another video, but... Yeah, this has seen a ton of play. Like, it's a 9 mana red spell, it's seen a lot of play. Storm mechanic is just that good. So anyway, Blazing Shoal, pitch one of these. And what do you know, 9, converted mana cost plus 1 power, is 10, and you need 10 infect counters. So this is a this is just a kill, just an unblockable creature, uh, an, an unblockable combat kill. Uh, Progenitus does the same thing, and also pitches to Disrupting Shoal if you ever need to counter a 10 drop. Which could be a thing, I guess. I don't know, not really. Uh, for the rest, we have some uh, banned cards in this deck as well. As I said and already mentioned, we have the four Blazing Shoal in here. We have Cataxium Probe in here, which is now banned. We have uh, Preordain in here. We have Ponder in here. So let's look at this. How many cards are banned from this deck? Let's see. Uh, that one, that one isn't. Oh, that isn't where is it where is it where is it oh these so this card this deck was playing 14 cards that are now banned so yeah just so you know modern was really 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 busted when it first started out also in the mana base futilaria west looking to find those uh where are they uh the zero drops the summoners pact or pact of negation basically what you do is you play your blighted agent and then attack uh, uh then next turn Untapped, play Teleria West, get a Pact of Negation, have counter backup for your attack. This is uncounterable by the way, you can casually just do this. Get a Pact of Negation and just attack them, pitch the Dragon Storm to the Blazing Shoal and kill them. If you're wondering, is this consistent with four creatures? This got a Pro to a top 8 on its first try, so yes, it's consistent. Uh, in the sideboard we have, well, more free spells. We have f uh, a Slaughter Pact. And yeah, this is basically free. This member is way cheaper than it should be. Uh, for the rest, we have four spell skies. Yeah, the, the meta game was just wide open back then, but he kind of got this right because, well, we're going to see a lot of spell sky today. We have a bunch of deprived, which are really good to pick up the Laria West. We have a trick bind in here because it's an uncounterable counter spell. We have echoing through. We have two Jace Balerin for the grindy stuff, and we have three Vendillion click for if we want a tempo. So that's the first deck. This was on, let's see. Yeah, this was on the 3rd of September in 2011. So really at the start of the format. And it was on Pro Tour Philadelphia. Then in 2011, well, yeah, they banned Blazing Shore pretty quickly after that. So here we have 
Pepper Lips uh, is list in August of 2012. Uh, sorry, uh, is this 2012? Uh, yeah, August 2011 at least. Uh, this is the first blue green list that I could find, and this is already very close to the list that we're playing these days. We have the four blighted agents. Oh, come on. Four blighted agents, four glistener elf in here as well. For ink mod nexus, like this is very close to what we're used to. This is still the standard creature package. For the infect creatures, then we still have already have the noble hierarchs as well. So this very common still to today. Uh, four spell pierce in the main, just was good enough back then for mana leak as well. Just eight counter spells in there. A uh, bunch of palm spells, like all of these are still seeing play. This list is already 28 cards towards the, towards the deck that it's today so that's really early in the development uh yeah for the rest we have eight counter spells in here some apostles blessings are probably for things like john's lightning ball basically fatal push wasn't a thing yet in the sideboard we have four part to exile it's, it it removes things like tarmogoy worm coil engine although the the tron matchup is basically free for in fact I mean, just think about that matchup goes. I play a Tron land, I play a Glistener Elf, I play a Tron land, I kill you. Like, yeah, that's not a good matchup for Tron. Uh, Cyborg for Viridian Corruptor. This is pretty cool, it's just a very big creature. Remember, with Infect, it deals 4 damage technically, so a 4 2 that destroys an artifact when it enters the battlefield. Really good in an affinity world. Uh, let's see, Graph Digger's Cage, Apostle's Blessing, Dispel, all, all very obvious uh, for the rest. But immediately in 2011, these lists getting very close to the 2021 list. So, yeah, then we get to, uh, let's see, 2012, where we have Shuffler Pound. I, yeah, I'm going to be using a lot of notes on this one. So, uh, let's see, this is from the 16th of August in 2012. And it's the first time list I could find that has a Blight Mamba in here. So, there's like four Blight Mamba in here. This is just a mono green list. Uh, for Blight Mamba, for Echo Claw Mirror, so no Blighted Agent, no counter spells. Uh, for, uh, let's see, where do we have it? Uh, oh, yeah, here it is. It's a land, so no Noble Hierarchs. However, we do get Cathedral of War because we're mono green. We can go a lot lower on the colored mana land, so we can, like, cut the breeding pools and stuff. Get Cathedral of War in there for an uncounterable Exalted Trigger, which is really cool. Uh, we have three god shots in here because uh, yeah, free spells are just that good. Uh, Ichor Claw Mirror just really big when it gets blocked. It's uh, a three three when it gets blocked. Uh, four Wild Defiance in here as well. Wild Defiance is a card that these lists have been playing throughout the years as well. It's just when you get Lightning Bolted, your creature dies. But when you have Wild Defiance out, it doesn't matter. Also, getting an inf if you go like turn one Glistener Elf, turn two God Shot it and Mutagenic Growth it, you kill them. So that's nice. I mean, do I say that right? Uh, it was six, seven, eight, nine. Now yeah, you're one shot. Anyway, uh, yeah. So lots of stuff in here that just works really well with Wild Defiance. And two dismember. You do need some interaction. So you have two dismember, three gut shots, and that's basically it. Uh, also, Vines of Fastwood is a card that you'll see a lot in these lists. What you can do with this is uh, actually target your opponent's creatures and make sure that their own spell fizzles, which is really good against uh, certain decks. If you're if your opponent is trying to like equip an enchantment to something or equip uh, an uh, artifact or something, you can just use the Vines of Vasu to counter that, which is really cool. Uh, let's see other strange things in here. Not really. For Inbound Nexus as well. So 16 Infect creatures, which is really high on the Infect count, but definitely worked for them. Uh, sideboard, let's see. There's a bunch of Live Fire Lashes in here. And yeah, this creature deals 2 damage. So this works with the. Uh, with the infect mechanic, because this deals, deals because infect reads this creature deals damage to creatures in the form of minus one minus one counter to players in the form of poison counter. So if you equip life wire lash, and you and your thing gets targeted, it deals to infect to your opponent, which is really cool. Uh, for any corruptor in this, so we have Malira Silver Outcast. This is against Pod because you can't go infinite with Birthing Pod. Uh, without minus one minus one cards, you can these days, but in those days you couldn't. And this is also for the mirror, because if your opponent's creatures lose infect, they're actually just 1-1s one and 2-2s, two and yours aren't, so that's really good. Uh, also, old school naturalize in here, and Apostle's Blessing. 
So yeah, really cool mono green list. Then we go to let's see uh 31st where is it? Oh there it is. As you can as you can tell I have a crap ton of lists to work through, so I yeah definitely need my notes today. And uh Geomox also in 2012 on the 31st of August. Uh, was the first list that I could find that was like actually salt eye, uh, salt eye. So we have uh, the usual pump spells, mutagenic growth, giant growth, glistener elf. Uh, glistener elf isn't a pump spell anyway. So glistener elf. Just these list, this list of just pump spells. Uh, Ingmon nexus in here as well. So twenty infect creatures in this list with four Ingmon nexus, four blighted agent, and four plague singer. This is a flying creature with infect. That's actually super powerful because it just means that you just have a form of evasion on your creature. Blighted agent is plainly better. But still very good. Uh, we have Phyrexian Crusado, which back in the day when Fatal Push didn't exist, dodged both uh, Lightning Bolt and Path to Exile, which made it very, very well positioned back then. Uh, a lot less well positioned nowadays, but still, I think this card is actually super reasonable, and I'm kind of surprised at how little play it sees these days. I mean, yeah, this looks super reasonable. Still does. Uh, so anyway, for Phyrexian Crusader as well, for Glistener Elf... We all know, no, we all know that. Uh, some Pendle Havens in here as well as the mana base, just salt eye mana base, breeding pool, overgrown tomb. The, this is basically a black green deck splashing for blighted agents. Uh, so the sideboard as well. Just I I love this sideboard. I love sideboards like this. It's like I don't want my spells to get countered, so I'm going to think four defense grid. I don't like people casting non creature spells or storm. I'll play four thorn of amethyst. I don't like affinity, I'll play 4 creeping corrosion. I hate dredge, let's play 3 craft digger's cage, like it's, it's so nice, it's so simple, so nice and so efficient, I absolutely love it. Uh, then the next thing that I could find was in, let's see, 2012 still, and this is from Pro, this is uh, in fact uh, Simix uh, Pro 2 breakout uh, list, it's Calvin Chu, who has a few top 8's I believe. Anyway, he played a Simic version of the deck, which is just a watered down version of the Sam Black version. Uh, we have Serum Vicious in here instead of Ponder. We have Slide of Hand in here instead of Preordain. And something that you'll notice here is that there's four Slide of Hand and three Serum Vision. But aren't you like, wait, Serum Vision sees more cards. But yeah, Serum Vicious is slower. You draw a card and then you scry too. And you scry the cards and, see, and you draw them the turn after or after another draw spell. However, Slide of Hand just gets you the card in your hand. So in a fast format like Modern, Slide of Hand could definitely be the call. And it's definitely a metagame call between Serum Visions and Slide of Hand. Uh, we also still have 3 Cataction Probe. Cataction Probe just so good. You just play your Glistener Elf turn 1, turn 2, probe them. Oh, you don't have anything? Well, you're dead. That's just the thing. Just makes playing around stuff very easy. Uh, let's see for the rest. Very polished list. Just four of your best cards. Four Glistener Elf. Four Groundswell. Four Mightafold Crosa. Four Nobles. Three Rancor. Four Vines of Fastwood. And then the two drop slots. Just more creatures. This is just all one drops by the way. This 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 deck just dies to Chalice like nobody's business. But still. It didn't really see play back then. Uh, there's two drops. Four Blighted Agent. And two Echoclaw Mirror. So you have 35 one drops. And... A few two drops because well, you kinda have to. Uh, let's see for the rest. Cyborg, four spell piece, four negate, four spell skies, two dismember, three creeping crows. This is all pretty obvious. Just lots of stuff where you're like, yeah, I need these. Basically, if your opponent's on a chalice deck, just bring in four spell piece and uh, the two negates and the creeping corrosions and be like, yeah, I'm gonna kill those. Also, creeping corrosion against infect is just so great. Uh, da, 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 da. Then we get to uh, at the same Pro Tour. It also got, a, in fact, also got a top 16 finish with uh, Ari Lax as the pilot. So this is the other list that made top 16 at the Pro Tour return to Ravnica, and it got a top 16 instead of a top 8. But still, this is also just a very similar list in in idea and spirit. This is a black green list splashing for a bit of blighted agent over here. But we have the same list of just tons of pump spells on one. We have Fines of Fastwood, Rancor, Noble, Mightafold Crows, Ground Swell, just all those things. 
coming back and then on the two drop we once again have blighted agent but instead of the echo claw mirror we now have plague stinger because it has flying so it's just a better infect creature so basically what our relax did was sacrifice his mana consistency a bit to get a better infect creature which yeah it worked out for him i mean he didn't get top 8 but top 16 at a pro tour is super reasonable it's just one match loss uh, more than top 8 so also apostles blessing definitely just a one drop so again 32 one drops and a bunch of infect creatures on two and the black does get him a better sideboard i like this sideboard a lot more because the tosses is just that powerful if when you look at your opponent's deck uh, or opponent's hand with the tosses you can just be like okay i'll take your removal and then i'm gonna kill you uh, for the rest sideboard for nature's claim graph diggers cage spell sky this member all are pretty obvious why they're there then we get to let's see because in fact just kept trucking along we have another list from 2012 uh let's see from mario zunica and this is a list from uh, let's see grand prix leon and it's top 16 list uh this is another simic list and this is all pretty obvious uh, the stuff the the main board is yeah just very consolidated at this point they all look alike so we're gonna go through this very fast. We have finds fast food rancor, noble, might will close the ground. So glisten off slide. Serum visions. As you can tell, once again, four slide of hand, three serum visions. Very telling of the speed of the format. When you when you know what you're look what you're looking for in a, in old deck list, you can definitely tell the speed of the format by the card choices people are making. Are people playing four slide of hand? Yeah, the format is racing like nobody's business. This is a card that just wants to drag race. Uh, also three detection probe in here as well apostles blessing so once again we see the mold of 19 lands 34 one drops and a bunch of two drops uh, for more infect creatures then to the sideboard which is the reason i mainly chose this list uh, we have nature's claim dispel spell sky dismember that's all pretty obvious we have vendillion click making a comeback and some threats of disloyalty this is just for tarmogoyf <laughs> like the deck had a ton of problems beating tarmogoyf threats of disloyalty just fix it but this is the oldest list I could find that had Dryad Arbor in it. And yeah, th this is just a list, just Dryad Arbor in the sideboard. It's something you still see too today, although usually they're in the main deck now, so they're like over here. And yeah, people still do this. It's just a threat that can kill your opponent off a of fashion. So they go like a uh, Supreme Verdict, your board, and you go fetch, get Dryad Arbor, and just keep on attacking. So first time I found this cool piece of tech still used to this day so almost nine years later re really well found uh then we get to uh da -da 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 -da. emilian wild also in 2012 also on gp leon also a top 16 and you can still see that the while the main uh thing the deck is trying to do is very viable with just a pile of one drops uh let's see uh, where was i kind of lost my train of thought there for a sec yeah pile of one drops and then just a bunch of infect creatures on two but you do still see some difference in the colors that people are using and the sideboards people are using so once again we have the plague stinger version version uh posting results we have cathedral of war in here as well which is something you can do if you uh adjust the mana a bit but once again, this is just a black green deck splashing for Blighted Ages. So you have two versions of Infect that are doing really well in 2012, which are the Simic version uh, and the uh, yeah the black green version splashing for Blighted Ages. So Salt Eye, yeah, it's kind of Salt Eye, kind of also isn't so. But yeah, those doing very well in 2012. A sideboard four Thoughtseize, four Nature's Claim, four Spell Sky, three Dismember. Thoughtseize is just that good. Something that I do find strange while looking back at it, just these green lists, not running uh, Cataxium Probe seems kind of off to me, but it may be just hindsight 2020 talking, you don't know. Then we get to, let's see, 2014, yeah, there we go. In 2014, not a lot happened, or 2013, not a lot happened for Infect, the deck stayed the same, it kept winning things, but it didn't change that much. But in 2014, we got a big finish uh, with a new card in there as well. So this, we all know. Oh, we have Distortion Strike in here as well right now. Let's see, Distortion Strike. Making an appearance as well. Besides the usual suspects of Cataxian Probe, Mutagenic Probe. Like, we all know these. 
Blighted Age of Radiant Corrupted 3 in the main. Affinity pro bl probably was really big in there. In that meta. So, But the new card. New kid on the block. Become Immense. This is a card that got printed in 2014. And yeah. Uh, apparently 1 mana plus 12 plus 12 with the Infect is uh, really good. Because target creature gets plus 6 plus 6. It seems good. But with Infect this gets doubled. Because well yeah it just does. And that makes it so that you get to become immense your Glistener Elf. And yeah, then it deals 7 poison counters for one card, which is absolutely nuts. So, for 2013, 14, sorry, the Alex Lomely list, first time I could find the uh, become immense is in there. Then we get to the sideboard, we have 4 Nature's Claim, Twisted Damage is also making an appearance. This is just for stuff like uh, other uh, player spells, guys. Not affinity, yeah, affinity as well, but mostly infect was really big. So, you really wanted to be able to kill your opponent's spell sky because when you're up in an infect mirror and your opponent plays a spell sky, they can just pay two life and uh, redirect your pump spell. So, you play a glistener elf, you then mutagenic growth, and then they go, ah, I'll pay two life, make a two six spell sky, and you're like, hey, I don't want to play anymore. So, uh, this member as well in there, just staple. Uh, let's see, 2013 and 2014, very sl well, relatively slow years for Infect, just not that much going on. But don't think that because it was a slow year in development for the deck, it didn't win. Like, I had so much to look through to find things that were doing well, because it, it was just winning everywhere. Infect was definitely tier 1, uh, it just... Every top 8, every open, it was just always there. In fact, really a dominant deck in modern for a long time. Just a big police agent on the format. Uh, just making sure that people aren't being too dirty. I think that Burn and In fact were the de facto like clock checks on the format. In fact, maybe even being too fast. But you don't know. So anyway, we go to 2015 where we have, let's see, uh, Adam Boyd. Okay. And this is the, f this is a list from 2015 where he got a GP Omaha top 16. And you can still see like, we're four years into this now. And these lists, basically still the same thing. It was good in 2011, still good in 2015. Sylvan's Crying makes a reappearance, but for the rest, yeah, just very standard stuff, still just winning. Uh, let's see, Cyborg, also just nothing that special uh, to Dispel making an appearance, but just 2015, Dex just keeps on trucking, you know. Uh, then we get to Pro Tool Fate Reforged, where we have two players who did very well. We first off have John Finkel, and I'm actually kind of surprised I mentioned his name in my fourth video. I would have expected it expected this in the first video so john finkel for those of you who don't know is johnny finkel johnny magic uh yeah this is just the greatest player of all time i believe he has like 17 pro to top eights uh these days or 16 or 40 it all feels the same basically when you're like making a top eight and john finkel is playing in your pt you can just make the bet that john finkel will make it in he's just that good there, there had been a period of time where John Finkel had more Pro to top 8s than the next two players on the top 3 list combined. So just so you know, John Finkel is that good. Anyway, he was playing in fact, and this is just a list that really shows what the pros do to a deck. You saw these lists where it was like, okay, we have a bunch of 1-drops, some interaction and stuff. And this deck just goes full Monty. You have 4 becoming men, just... They just went, this is the most busted thing we can do. We're gonna do it as many times as we can. So four becoming men, four Gataxian Probe, some Distortion Strikes, and the rest just all the free pump spells again. Mutagenic Grow, Finds of Fastwood, stuff like that. But yeah, just the four becoming men, four Gataxian Probe, first time that anyone did it. Immediately got him a Pro to the top, uh, what is it, 16 I believe? Did I say that right? Yes, yes. I don't know if it's a top 16, but he uh, had a top performing deck. I should state my facts correctly. Uh, so, yeah, just four becoming mess, four protection. And this is just the pros are really doing that thing. The pros are always like, okay, people are dirtling around with this. How can we cut all the dirtle and be, be just killing them? The pros don't care about having fun in a game. They're like, okay, this wins me money. Let's do that. 
And then you really get these busted ass lists. Uh, sidebar, we have a uh, dried arbor spell. Yeah, this is all very common. And we have a carrion call in here as well. Just instant create two one one green insect creature tokens with effect. This is just very good against something like Splinter Twin, where you just end of turn. Okay, I'm gonna make two insect uh, creature tokens now. Make sure that I can keep infecting you. So, yeah, very good call for them. Uh, let's see. On the same Pro Tool, we actually have another very good performing list. This is a list by Tyler Hill. Where is that? There it is. Oh, come on. Do we have it? Yeah, there we go. So, this is another list, and you can really tell the difference between a pro team and someone that just loves playing their deck. I mean, this person, Tyler, I don't know them in person or anything, but I've never even talked or heard of them before this video, but just looking at this list, this really looks like someone who knows what they're doing with the arch type. It's just four wild defiance, four blighted Asians, Sylvan Scrying to get the Ingmar Nexus, uh, one detection probe, one spell pierce, and this, and just one become a mess. But this list very focused on being uh, stable, steady, and just plowing through stuff. Just making sure that you don't get lightning bolted, making sure that you don't have, uh, don't get your spell stolen uh, with a spell sky because of your own spell sky. But just the thing between the the actual factual best in the game and the very very good don't get me wrong i think tyler hill's a very good player you absolutely have to be to do this well on the pro tour but yeah just one become immense one detection pro but it's like this is the most broken thing this deck can do and it might not be as consistent but it's just that powerful every time you just min max this you're just gonna win more games so you can definitely tell how the pros approach a, uh, building a deck compared to how the more well casual players approach a uh, building a deck uh let's see for the rest all still very standard a lot of the lists very just uh consolidated very early on we have cyborg hulkers recall and wall of roots i don't really know why the wall of roots is there i couldn't figure it out but it's there we i see it a lot a, a few more times but could, couldn't really figure it out probably just a defender against like affinity or something it's a zero five that's making you mana like it can't ever be that bad uh cyborg we also have Viridian corruptor spell sky this is all just very common relic is pretty obvious why it's there uh, let's see, then we go to um, 2015 Mark Jacobson, this is on GP Vancouver in 2015 and I just wanted to mention this because he went undefeated on day one and that's so insane. Just going like, I believe it's 9 and 0 back in those days, just wanted to put it out there, Th that's just great, well done, good job, that's basically, the list is super standard but. Hey, it works. Also, once again, the Hulkers Recall Wall of Roots thing. Just the exact same list as on the Pro Tour. And for good reason, it was a very good list. Once again, just not the most busted thing you could be doing. Well, the Detection Probe got banned for a reason. You're probably wrong when you're not playing for. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, we have another GP Top 8 for the deck on, in Tom Martell's hands in 2015. This is uh, th from that same, same GP as well in Vancouver. So not an undefeated day one, but a top 8 appearance nonetheless. And once again, you really see the, the channel fireball slash the pros version with the four becoming men's forge detection probes. Uh, one Echo Claw Mirror, Blighted Asia, just very stable mana, no black cards, just a bunch of blue, mostly mono green. Uh, let's see, sideboards, one Piracy Charm in here, I, y yeah, it's a thing, you can register this card. And uh, I'm guessing this is for like Twin or something, where you can either kill a Pestomite, or you can gain Island Walk and just walk by their blockers, which is also kind of funny. So yeah, that's what I think this is for, but uh, you can definitely correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? We have one more thing in 2015, and that's some Magic Online Championship win. And the Magic Online Championships are just really hard, hard tournaments. That, that's just hard to get into. I've qualified for one, and I didn't end up playing because of personal things, so... It, it happens, but yeah, these are just very big tournaments. 
and their high grinder level like everybody in the mox really knows what they're doing so a mox win is super impressive especially considering this list is very very different than what everybody else was doing so uh yeah we have four inquisition of kozilek in the main which is yeah just one mana for uh looking at your opponent's hand just looking at your opponent's hand in infect is that powerful and yeah, they get to discard. So Inquisition, uh, discard your Lightning Board or something. And then just going off with Glistener Ralph or Plague Stinger or whatever. Very powerful. We also have Abrupt Decay in here. Four of them just very high on the interaction for an Infect deck. Uh, the, the one drops are all the same for the rest. Plague Stinger makes an appearance again. Uh, we also have four for Action Crusader. As I said earlier, I'm actually kind of surprised that this card saw so little play over the years. This is just dodging Fatal, uh, not Fatal Push, dodging Lightning Bolt, dodging uh, Path to Exile, all just very powerful things. And we have Become Immense, three of them in here. Yeah, no Detection Probe. So yeah, for Action Crusader, uh, I mean Become Immense just really uh, not that broken in the sense of there's no free spells to pump it. Uh, sideboard there was a ton of burn in this day and age i know that because there's two vampiric links in the sideboard just vampiric link is amazing you go glistener elf equip vampiric link and like man now i'm gonna gain one life who cares nah you're gonna gain like eight life or something just might have all crow so i'll rancor it up some spell skites in here uh, nature's claim for opposing spell skites an actual factual doom blade in here just very good in the mirror uh three ley line of the void i'm not a big fan of running only non uh, only three ley line but hey it seems to work for them because they won the mox and i didn't so so uh results uh creeping corrosion three of them just for affinity corpse cur just more infect creatures and this just grinds it's, this is a, a card against john you have like a four mana two two very slow but when it dies, you get a creature back. So definitely a very grindy card for Infect. Uh, in 2016, Panagiotis Papadopoulos, I hope I said that correctly, won Worlds, uh, well, Team Worlds with Infect. He was CTC and he was playing a mirror against uh, Peter Vieren. So we had an Infect mirror in the finals of Worlds, which is kind of actually insane. So this is uh, Papadopoulos' list. Uh, for Glistener Elf, like this is the most standard of standard list that I've ever, ever seen. But hey, don't why change a winning team, you know? So we have Detection Probe in here, Dismember, just uh, for Becoming Man. So yeah, definitely just uh, very standard. Sideboard as well, all very standard. And his opponent, Peter Vieren, was playing... Oh, come on. Yeah, almost, almost. Yeah, there we go. Was playing well basically almost the same list he had one viridian corruptor instead of a let's see uh i i don't even know oh instead of the fourth becoming man so just one card difference here and uh yeah for the rest mostly just the same deck yeah in fact it's just a deck that over the years has been very consistently very good so why change it you know oh, also we see blossoming defense in here uh yeah just a new print very powerful card uh, yeah, just give hexproof and uh, plus two plus two. So just uh, bolt, uh, counter. It's basically a counter spell on removal. So that's very good. And you immediately notice that the spell pierces are gone. Well, then move to the sideboard at least. So we have this spell, spell pierce, twisted image, nature's claim. Like the side pierces are, uh, sideboards are all very uh, obvious, except for the unravel the aether. And this is just a good way to get rid of something like a Karanos. Uh because you can just shuffle it back into your library. And yeah, Kitchen Finks is just for burn. If you ever see Kitchen Finks in the sideboard, it's just for the burn matchup. Kitchen Finks is so unbelievably good against burn. So that was the World's Team's Finals in 2016 between Vieren and Padapo... Pada... Pa oh crap. Papadopoulos? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I really am trying to say it correctly, but Greek, Greek names are so hard. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Then we move on to, uh, let's see, uh, in my notes, we have an SEG win in 2016 as well by Max McFatty. So we have Max McFatty's list here, and you can just tell this while the finest become a mask detection probe. It's just an uh, it's an SEG win, so I decided to include it, but 
super standard list for the rest. Sideboard, nothing that special as well. Three Wall of Roots is really weird. I, mean, I, I still don't really get why this is here, but apparently they need it, so. So yeah, that's, uh, then we get to, da -da 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 -da. Oh, that was an Invitational win, by the way, and winning an Invitational is, is like, yeah, really good, so congrats to them. And we have another high-end finish for the deck in 2016 in Shiba's list. And Shiba won... Got, uh, no, I didn't win, sorry. He got a Mox top 8. Or they got a Mox top 8. And the Mox is just a Magic Online Championship. So that's really powerful. It's a tournament that you really have to grind to get into. So oh, everybody in the Mox just really knows what they're doing. And you can tell this list just for Becoming Man, for Detection Probe, going full Monty on the nuts. Uh, and the possibility of the nuts uh, for blighted agent like super standard but hey yeah as i said a few times already why change a winning team uh for kitchen things this is just against burn we see the unravel the aether for things like Karanos again uh for the rest all very standard but i do want to just take the biggest wins for the deck let's see then 2017 happened and on two th in 2017 on the 9th of january uh, disaster struck for Infect because Gatexian Probe got banned and yeah that was not great for Infect so you see a lot less of it in 2017 so definitely the early years of Modern where Infect was really shining and after that Gatexian Probe banned the deck kind of took a nose dive but still kept in it but after that we actually got the card Fatal Push also in 2017 uh, I'm just pulling it up right now so in 2017, Fatal Push got printed, and Fatal Push is just a card. This card is just everything that in fact, in fact does not want to see. It's efficient removal, it's instant speed, just no questions asked, just kill the creature. And this made it so hard for in fact to be good. So what you see is that in 2017, while there definitely were some finishes, there were no like really big finishes for in fact. And yeah, let's see. So we, we do have a few though. So 2017 does have... Daniel Snyder who has a list with Jay's friend's prodigy in it which I thought was really cool and something I should highlight so yeah Jay's friend's prodigy just an additional threat that could dodge fatal push once you flip it so you get this fatal push then you uh, draw a card that is then discard a card and then flip it so you dodge the fatal push which is really cool and this is also just a way to give the deck a bunch of longevity that it used to not have so really cool Figured I'd show that one off. Uh, Cyborg, we get Descentus Deliverance. Just a, just a, yeah, destroy target artifact with cycling. Just a very mana efficient way to uh, destroy an artifact. Another list that I found that I thought was interesting was Eric Moyer's list. And uh, I mainly wanted to highlight this because he got a good finish in the Dutch Open series. And well, I played in this one. So yeah, definitely favoring those because I played in them. Uh, yeah, super standard list, but one of the few finishes in fact did have in 2017, so. Uh, yeah, also first time I found someone playing Nissa Voice of Sendika, which is really cool. Just, uh, the, the zero one one green plant tokens actually are good enough with all the ground swells and might have crosses to actually kill your opponent, so that very powerful to put it in there. As I kick over my desk, uh, Shaper Sanctuary making an appearance as well. So yeah, some innovation still happening even in 2017, but yeah, as you can tell, a lot less happening here. Then we get to 2018, uh, which we start off on the f 1st of July of 2018 with an uh, SCG Atlanta Open win by Kazu Negri. And I figured I'd show that one off because, well, an Open win is just very solid results. So yeah, this is Kazu Negri's list. In 2018 and yeah you can just tell like still nothing much changing the detection probes are gone so you get the blossoming defense uh, the four of them but for the rest this is all just still very yeah very 2011 like so not a lot has changed in these lists uh, for the sideboard as well we have wild defiance yeah two dissenters deliverance I think this is just a really good addition I like it a lot uh, spell Pierce, Distortion Strike, Graph Digger's Cage, and Two Shaper Sanctuary. So yeah, all very standard stuff. But yeah, the deck is just still very good, even without Gatexian Probe. 
uh what we also have in 2018 is let's see oh he is on syed list i forgot to write down what he won but he did well in something otherwise the list wouldn't be here so yeah uh anyway this is uh, another list that did well Iggerclaw mirror making an appearance again so back from the grave basically after years just yeah pumping up the creature count 15 total creatures very important for a deck like this to always have a creature so i can definitely see why it's there uh let's see man i i'm so sorry i just didn't write down what he uh, did well in. i'm so sorry anyway i have reading corrupt and this is also just a cool invent in innovation that i hadn't seen before the for invisible stalker in the cyborg wizard has been quoted as saying invisible stalker is one of the most boring creatures ever and this, that's for a reason. It's a hexproof guy that can't be blocked. You just play this thing and it doesn't do anything to make a game fun. It's just there. And then you die. So yeah, in, Invisible Stalker can be blocked and hexproof combined mean that you just play the Invisible Stalker and you attack in and you're still swinging for 20. So yeah, like wh what will you do against this? Lightning Bolt doesn't do it. Fatal Push doesn't do it. But to exile doesn't do it. It's just the cards that people bring in against infect, like all the spot removal, collective brutality, you know what, all the cre creature kill and invisible stalker just removes all of that. There have definitely been a few lists where people just have gone boggles infect uh, memes, where people are like game one boggles or game one infect, and then game two uh, the other way around. So that's definitely a thing people have done. However, it, do it doesn't really have any good results or anything, but kind of want to mention that i know it existed uh that gets us to 2019 where the deck just keeps on winning basically so we have uh let's see where i should start we have grandam who got a mox top eight so another very good finish in the magic online championships and in 2019 people were definitely saying that infect was just dead and well it obviously wasn't because well, in May 13th, May 13th, 2019, this deck got a Mox uh, open top 8, so, or the Magic Online Championship top 8. So, yeah, uh, what do we see here? Distortion Stripe, Mutagenic Growth, uh, all fine. Uh, the And the one thing that really innovated on uh, old list and this list is that the Mishas Bauble are here. And for Mishas Bauble are just free spells that draw you cards, which is very similar to Gitexium Probe. But instead of seeing the entire hand, it looks at the top card of that deck. But Mishra's Bauble is better with Fetchlands because you can go like Mishra's Bauble, look at my own top card. If you like it, sure, draw it. If you don't like it, fetch it away and just shuffle it away. So that's a really cool trick. Uh, so yeah, in fact, back in the market for zero mana card draw spells that fuel become immense. So very cool innovation. Love to see it. I'm glad people still work on the archetype. Because, yeah, the power is just there. In fact, it has proven itself over and over and over and over again. So, yeah, the power is definitely there. Like, good to see people still doing it in 2019. Uh, let's see. Then we move on to uh, Chevy Meister. Oh, here it is. To Chevy Meister's list. And you're like, well, this is all very familiar. But there's one big difference. This is the first list that I could find. That has scale up in it. And scale up is a card when it got printed. People were like yeah this is going to be insane in Infect. And yeah Infect just plays 4 of them at all times. So they were definitely right. This card just read as a massive boost for Infect. And Infect in 2019 to be honest kind of needed it. The deck was just. Yeah just not really getting the results it wanted. It had like the one Mox uh, top 8. And two uh, open top 8s. Uh, or win I believe. And. For the rest, compared to the other years, Infect was doing basically nothing. So Infect definitely needed the boost. I'm glad Infect got the boost. So in scale up, just one mana, make a 6-4. Yeah, a 6-4 Glistener Elf is really scary. Just Glistener Elf, scale up, mutagenic growth, mutagenic growth. And you're there, you win. So let's see what else is new here. Yeah, that's for a lot of our elves in here. That's I think that's just to support more cantrips uh, from the start of the game. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm guessing now that I look at this list more, that is just a budget cut for Noble Hierarch. Noble Hierarch was like 40 tickets at one point, and that used to be a lot on Magic Online. So I'm guessing Lanora Else is just a budget thing that should be Noble Hierarch. But this is the oldest list I could find with scale up, so I decided to include it. 
uh, then we move along to yeah just 2019 very much a time where people were brewing in infect was in 2019 we also got this beauty and yeah this is just all normal infect cards all normal infect cards all normal infect cards then you get to the three drop slot and you're like wait that's the fairy in here apparently your opponent not interacting with you is very good in combination with you killing them so yeah the fairy making an appearance in uh ben Hul ben helmer burris's list and yeah just bond infect apparently so that also gets you a better cyborg because you get to play path to exile rest in peace and stony silence and and the one guys of Sidra. i i don't think this is correct at all but eh, the more you know uh you also get force of vigor in modern horizons so definitely a boost to the deck yeah there's some fluster stone you can see some modern horizons cards slipping in here but yeah just rest in peace stony silence part to exile very big boost to the deck and the main deck the fairy just very powerful so yeah 2019 was very much a year of experimentation for in fact and then we get to let's see mark lion setter oh there it is Okay, then we get to Mark Lion Setter's list. Uh, that's a Magic Championship qualifier, a Magic Fest Utrecht. And this is a, the oldest list that I could find that was running Once Upon a Time, which is, yeah, Once Upon a Time is so busted. This card is absolutely broken in half. Just zero mana, look at the top five cards. Just zero mana, look at cards is just that busted. Also, the cyborgs went back into the main deck, but I'm guessing it's something like this. So just gonna do this on the fly. Uh, ta -da -da -da. Uh, spell pierce probably. So like this, this, this. Uh, ta -da -da -da. So usually I do this before the video, but I don't know why this one messed up. So anyway, like this. Eh, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's probably something like this. So uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm kind of just being pedantic at this point. So. Maybe this. Uh, those are probably just all sideboards. Oh, like this or something. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and guess. It's something like this. I don't know why the sideboard got uh, shuffled back in. It really shouldn't. But Magic Online can be weird like that. So anyway, yeah. This is the first list that I could find with Once Upon a Time in it. Uh, just a free spell. Also feels become immense. So yeah, very powerful. Once Upon a Time got banned uh, basically as fast as it could. As if I remember correctly. Uh, it got banned on the... Oh, it actually took them quite a while. It was banned on the 9th of March of 2020. So, yeah. So, that's uh, another banned card in Infect. And then we get to... Da -da 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 -da, Patrick Casey. That's, uh, that's here. Uh, we're almost through. Was, man, this is uh, quite the chunky video. This is a lot of talking. Anyway, Patrick Casey's list is from the 30th of November of 2019. And this is the oldest list that I could find that has Oko Thief of Crowns in it. And Oko, yeah, we, we, we're getting to the point where I'm kind of guessing everybody knew what's going on. Oko is just that busted. Uh, yeah, there's one Oko in here. I wouldn't be surprised at all if later list uh, ran three or four Oko in the main. Uh, four Once Upon a Time here as well. Distortion Strike. The rest all very standard. But just four Once Upon a Time. One Oko in the main board. In the sideboard we have the other three. The other three Okos. Uh, we also see Mystical Dispute in here. Which is just a very efficient card. And we see Veil of Summer in here. So M20 had been printed. And Veil of Summer making an appearance. And Veil of Summer is just such a powerful card. One mana draw card is already very good. And just Hexproof as well. It's so powerful. So yeah, that's the first Oko appearance in 2019. And then we get to, uh, let's see. Oh, there's one more thing. In 2019, uh, Renan 6 got printed as well in Modern Horizons. And that's also a card that's very good against Infect. So I'm going to pull that one up for a second here. Da -da 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 -da. Give me a second. Magic Line isn't the fastest program. So there we have a Renan 6. And just Renan 6 minus ability is unbelievably powerful against infect just random six deals one damage to any target well if you look at these creatures like glistener elf is a one one noble hierarchy is a one one and blighted agent is a one one so what happens here is you um get play your creature and then they play your random six and they start pinging your creature but every time they ping it you have to decide do i save the creature by paying a spell basically or do i let the creature die and infect just doesn't want to do either of those so 
definitely a lot of pressure on in fact between Fader Push and Renan 6 and the Kataxian Pro ban. And even despite all of that, it's still just doing good enough that it, in 2020 we have, uh, let's see, uh, the King for a thousand years getting a Magic Online Modern Championship Top 16. So despite Ren S6, despite Fatal Push, despite the Pro Ban, despite the Once Upon a Time Ban, despite the Oko Ban, in fact still just getting a Magic Online Championship Top 16. So well done to them and in fact just still trucking along in 2020. And yeah, just look at this list. This is 2020, Glistener, Elf, Scale Up, Vines of Fastwood, Noble, Might of Old Cross are just still very, very similar to a 2011 list. The sideboard is very different, but that's just because a lot of good sideboard cards got printed. So we have Fail of Summon, Nature's Claim, Spellpiece, Wilt is a new one, just a cycler that hits both artifacts and enchantment instead of uh, just artifact. Uh, spell kite in there as well and we have four timely reinforcement burn just very big uh, the first part of last year so yeah just four timely reinforcements for burn and just the casual why would we not euro titan of nature's rod euro is just that powerful and it's it's getting banned i hope on monday but it's definitely getting banned it's been announced that it's getting banned so yeah it's just very fitting to uh, find it in uh in fact as well i mean basically when infect is splashing for uh, well not splashing when infect is playing all sorts of like value engines and stuff while they're trying to be a turn two kill deck and they're going like well if we get a turn three euro titan of nature's wrath is just a good enough plan to kill them anyway yeah it's probably just too good so good to see it's gonna leave the format very soon so that's it for 2020 and in 2021 this is the latest list that i could find this is a very new list and it's by socos 13 who is a magic online player i it's just a, a a league list i believe they're nothing nothing super exciting but just good to see in 2021 the deck still trucking along so we have one become immense left because all of the free spells are mostly gone three mutagenic growth but just a ton of prowess running around ton of burn running around so you can't really be like okay mutagenic growth three times this man but oh bo 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 bye you, you know you can't do that so we have become immense uh just a one-off but the others are still here scale up might of old crows uh spell sky blighted asian glistener elf inkbond nexus also still here and cyborg just Pure Beauty, Wild, Craft Digger's Cage, Fail of Summer, couple of counter spells, here one more, one removal spell, and still the two sideboard errors. So if you look at a list of 2021 uh, like this, and then you look back at one of the 2011 lists, this is the older list that I had in the video, the amount of similarity is actually quite insane. It's very uh, refreshing to see how this score has kept up over the years. Despite getting multiple bannings, uh, multiple cards printed against it, uh, and yeah, still just four Glistener Elf, four Blighted Agent, bunch of pump spells, some Nobles, four Inkmod Nexus, and we're a decade along, and it's still just good enough. One thing that I did notice over the years is that the, I just couldn't find the Lurus list, like nothing serious. I found one Lurus list in like a, 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 a Reddit topic somewhere, but it never did anything, so I didn't want to include it. And it's just the weirdest thing to me that there isn't a Lurus list. I fully expect a Lurus deck to be found with Infect as well in the next few years, uh, or a few years, maybe even a few months. I think the, the potential is just too big. So with all of that being said, I'm gonna round down the video because my throat is once again just killing me. These videos have been getting longer and longer and longer, so I do hope people enjoy them. Uh, if you have a suggestion for which deck I should do next, or if I missed anything, please let me know. Because yeah, this has just been a ton of research, so hope people enjoy it. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, have a nice day. Bye-bye.